Hello! Today we're going to be learning all about scientists with a story called This Little Scientist, A Discovery Primer. This is a pretty fun book. We get to learn a lot about a lot of important and cool people. Asking why, then making a guess. Asking how, then proving with tests. Little scientists make great big discoveries. Isaac Newton. This little scientist said we walk on the ground because gravity stops us from floating around. Isaac Newton also found a rainbow of colors called a spectrum inside a beam of light and figured out three rules for how objects move. Good job, Isaac. <gasps> Maria Sibylla Marion. This little scientist painted bugs everywhere, laying eggs, eating leaves, even flying midair. Maria Sibylla Marion's paintings explained such things as how caterpillars turned into butterflies through a change called metamorphosis. Good job, Maria. <gasps> Marie Curie. This little scientist did experiments to show that atomic energy made uranium rocks glow. Marie Curie studied invisible atoms that give off energy particles she named radioactivity. She was the first person to win two Nobel Prizes in chemistry and physics. Whoa. Good job, Marie. <gasps> Albert Einstein. This little scientist had wild white hair. He was famous for writing E equals MC squared. Albert Einstein's equation means that energy and mass are the same thing in different forms. He said nothing can go faster than the speed of light, 186,282 miles a second. Wow, that's fast. Grace Hopper. This little scientist wrote code that was new to tell computers in words what we want them to do. Grace Hopper programmed computers in words instead of numbers. She popular popularized the term computer bug when a moth flew inside her computer and broke it. Katherine Johnson. This little scientist got the math right to help NASA astronauts launch outer space flights. Katherine Johnson solved hard math problems on paper before trusted computers were available, so space heroes like John Glenn could safely orbit the Earth. Jane Goodall. This little scientist studied chimpanzees and made friends with them among Africa's trees. Jane Goodall discovered that chimps hug their friends and make tools like spoons out of sticks. Before this, people thought only humans made tools. Good job, Jane. <gasps> Sao Lan Wu. This little scientist has a brilliant spark. She helped find particles called gluon and charm quark. Sao Lan Wu studies particles, the smallest building blocks of our universe. And atoms, protons, and neutrons are made of quarks stuck together by gluons. Way to go. <gasps> Stephen Hawking. This little scientist studied outer space surprises, like mysterious black holes that form in many sizes. Stephen Hawking made big news by explaining how some particles might escape black holes, which have gravity so strong that everything nearby falls into them. Good job, Stephen. And last, Neil deGrasse Tyson. This little scientist helps us understand how our universe works and how it began. Neil deGrasse Tyson visited the Hayden Planetarium as a boy and got excited about stars and planets. He grew up to be the director of the planetarium. Good job, Neil. And in the back, we have a whole bunch of other famous scientists that we can learn about. That's great. Well, I hope you learned something. I know I did. Have a great day.